Hiya, I'm Matty and welcome to our archive dive. So our first archive dive is going to be on 70s prints. So um, I'm pretty sure that any of you who visited our stores have seen that we've got lots and lots of amazing 70s shirts in incredible colours uh, and itchy fabrics. And you might wonder why they're so amazing uh, and why the colours pop like they do. Well, we're going to take you through a few. Um, so um, the brief history, what was great about the 70s as we came into the 70s is that we had this incredible, um, all these amazing new man-made fabrics. Um, polyester, nylon, brine nylon. Uh, and what that meant was that we could use um, colours in a way that we'd never used them before. They were super, super stay uh, and they wouldn't wash out. Um, and also what was great was that you can literally just throw them in the washing machine, uh, which was new at the time. Um, and uh, they'd come out and they'd pretty much be the same as they went in. Uh, so they were super good. I mean, yes, they were non-breathable, which meant that they sweat a lot. Um, but give them a clean and they'll be fine. But what, that was, what was great about it was that there were so many great technological changes at the time, not only with fabrics, but also with printing processes. So as you come into the 60s, there was all these amazing pop art acid colours. Um, and then that came through into the 70s as we kept um, uh, these brilliant colour stays. Um, also what was great was the fact that there was also amazing printing changes as well going on in the 70s. Um, kind of duplication of images became much easier um, and much cheaper and what that meant was that um, we could print things a lot quicker um, and a lot easier and reproduction of things like photographs and everything else could finally find a way onto um, clouds. It started in the 30s by the way um, but it didn't catch on because it was very expensive. So let's have a look through some of the amazing things we've got. We'll start with some of the um, a really good example of what I was saying about um, the printing and getting cheaper and photographs and everything. So this beautiful photograph um, was um, was obviously printed on this thing. Now, what's so special about this is the fact that I'm a huge Mickey Mouse fan. And for the most part, from the distance, it just looks like a beautiful spire in a country uh, side and uh, a couple of little Victorian people there but what's amazing is that when we look a little bit closer we can see little Mickey and Minnie having a fun time out in the countryside so there was this really amazing playfulness about the 70s prints and that's why there's so much fun um, because uh, we kind of got to this place where we were kind of replicating a lot of 30 shapes in some ways um, a lot of muted 30s colours also but there was a real sense of fun about it we'd gotten to the place kind of like post 60s where we'd kind of chilled out a little bit civil rights had changed everything for the most part and we were just having loads of fun and as we get into the 70s that really really continued and um, you see that in a lot of tailoring too um, a lot of 40s and 40s and 30s shapes but just with crazy like fabrics like this um, and lurex and things like that and that really really kind of ploughed through onto our shirts as well. Um, so what the, so that's a really good example uh, of the brilliant printing process at the time and the ways that they were changing because these really would have been mass produced. I mean, you look at the fabric that it was on as well. It's kind of like a bit of a braai nylon type um, and it just would have stayed. I mean, that stayed, those colours have stayed like they have for like nearly 50 years um, and they will stay for another 100 years in uh, hopefully in somebody's house and not in a landfill. Um, <clears throat> the great colours as well, this is a really superb, what was really interesting about the 70s was that we were kind of, <clears throat> we kind of harked back not, not only to uh, the 30s but also the 20s and kind of Victorian. So we had a really good look back. Kind of Bieber had started some of, that, some of those really wonderful shapes um, and Aussie as well as we got into the late 60s, early 70s. So um, there were some really, really fantastic influences and we just looked right back again as we did with all cyclical fashion. And, um, and so we've got things like this, it's almost like Lautrec. Um, so we've got these phenomenal colours, really beautiful, almost watercolour <coughs> um, images. Uh, and these collars are also absolutely stunning. These really huge spear points, these are called spear point collars, sometimes they're even longer than that. I've got things that come down here. Um, but what is this really beautiful example of a 70s printed shirt is because 
It's got all the fantastic features that we'd hoped for in the shirt from the collars and um, these wonderful pleated cuffs, really deep cuffs here. Um, just really, really stunning example. So what it means is that, you know, we've got this kind of like almost <clears throat> billowing 30s thing here going on. Uh, once these once these are worn, obviously you've got this massive luminous sleeves. Um, so that's a real particular favourite of mine. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh. Let's see some, again, really great colours. And this one's a bit lighter, but we can see uh, how fantastic this is with these me really amazing um, deep sleeves and deep cuffs. Um, but again, all these incredible colours, you know, that really, really will stay. Um, almost psychedelic in some ways. It's kind of got that marbling effect. Um, but again, we kind of like had, <coughs> had some really great, amazing psychedelics come through to the 70s. I'm pretty sure we've got uh, some here. Uh, little bits. Yeah, like this one here. <coughs> we had a really, really huge, there was a real kind of sense of, as we came into the early 70s, we had this real amazing sense of kind of like back to nature. And you see that as well with a lot of kind of Brock prints um, <coughs> that, we, that they were using back then. Um, so you see all these really great muted colours, such an amazing um, and on kind of like key colour schemes really for the early 70s. We've got all these really great browns and greens and you would find kind of like really beautiful browns and oranges and limes and things as well. Um, but kind of like a real muted kind of uh, natural neutrals, um, but in just a really, really beautiful floral way. Uh, what else have we got? When I was talking about um, almost that kind of like 20s and 30s deco thing, uh, this is really great um, because, you know, we've got, again, we've got these kind of muted browns, really earthy tones. Um, and again, Paris, you know, I mean, this probably would have been made in America. So all these, <coughs> all these prints would have been kind of quite, um, quite exotic, really. Uh, people in America probably weren't visiting Paris very much. So, you know, to have Paris on the shirt is a bit like us wearing like Los Angeles or something like that back in the 70s. So it was quite exciting. Um, again, super, super itchy, <laughs> super, super heavy fabrics, but they, they were just there to last. They're literally pretty much made out of plastic. Um, but this is the plastic that we want to keep uh, and not and recycle on our bodies and not in the ground. Um, <coughs> again, I get these really, really, this is a, a ladies one, um, but just a really, really great example of kind of the geometry uh, that we were kind of getting in the late 60s, early 70s. This, is, this might be even kind of uh, late 60s, probably about 70 or something. Uh, but again, just really, really pop colours. Um, and again, but really kind of involving a lot of these neutral browns and things. So it, there's an amazing, amazing swathe of brilliant clothes that we can get from that early 70s time and the mid 70s um, and you should really really try and check some of that stuff out because it's really exciting um, it's really great to wear especially some of the shapes uh, some of the colors it's quite way out um, so yeah go treat yourself